Fawless parents entertain their children with bedtime stories about where they came from. We are special, they say. We were chosen. But chosen by whom? The god of animals traveled all over Remnant, seeking those who were a little more than human, and invited them to sail to the shallow sea to discover their destiny. You did not fit in where you came from, but I know who you are. Leave this boat, enter the water. It will wash your old life away and show what you've always been just below the surface. You belong here. You are home. Some of the people leapt at the chance the god offered. Others were more skeptical. Though the sea did not touch you, it has revealed your own shallowness. Fables often teach lessons, such as the importance of looking beneath the skin. But for Faunus, the story of the shallow sea does something more vital. It reminds them from a young age that their own lives have value. But Faunus are forced to grow up quickly. As they mature, they learn darker stories in which the truth lies closer to the surface. Many, many years ago, in a faraway land, there was a war between humans and animals. Why do you fight each other? Are you Are human? You animal? I am neither and both. Why are you fighting? They, they are, are not, not like, like us. us. Why must everyone be the same? We, we worry, worry about, about what, what they, they might, might do, do to us. us. So you have something in common, after all. Judge not what you fear others may do, but by their actions. We've seen the evil in their hearts. Humans are even more capable of destroying things than they are at creating. Animals are stronger than us, but they will not join us in fighting the Grim. You tried to control us. Why should we risk our lives to protect yours? The Grim have never bothered us. All we want is to be free. You are too wild. You must be tamed so you won't steal from us. All we want is to live in safety and in peace. You assume the worst about one another, but you are more alike than you know. If only you could see your best qualities as I do and embrace your differences. I can end this conflict here, but only if all submit to my judgment, whatever it may be. We accept, we accept your, your judgment. judgment. the god would choose the superior species. Perhaps they have. Were you human or animal before? It doesn't matter anymore. I can see so far. Look, I have hands. I'm so strong. I'm walking like a monkey. Seems we are neither human nor animals now. Then what are we? Better, Better than both. both. <laughs> and it seems we now have a common enemy. We don't even know what you are. Were we so narrow-minded when we were human? Yes. And so the Faunus left in search of a place they could live peacefully together, where they could become the best versions of themselves. These fables may seem fantastic, yet they reflect the real and unfortunate history of conflicts between humans and Faunus. 
and though different versions of the same story, they have some things in common. Faunus leaving behind their old lives to create a new future for themselves, as well as the notion that humans and Faunus need each other to survive. If we all set aside our differences and work toward a shared purpose, how much better would Remnant be for everyone? Hey, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Ruby Fairy Tales. To experience more folklore from the world of Remnant, you can actually pick up the book that this series was adapted from right now wherever books are sold. Or you can just keep watching the show as it drops here on YouTube. Either way, supports the show and Kruby. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and mash that bell. <laughs>